Ladies and gentlemen, I've been informed that you have reached a unanimous decision, correct? Correct. Okay. And so would the defendant and defendant's counsel please rise for me? Um, as to the charge of driving under the influence, the jury hereby finds that we, the jury, find the defendant not guilty of driving under the influence of alcohol. And then as to the charge of reckless driving, we, the jury, find the guilt, defendant not guilty of reckless driving. Um, so ma'am, they found you not guilty on both charges, but we do have to have a discussion about a few other things. So if you'd have a seat, I'll be right with you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your time and your patience. In your freezingness, um, I, I'm so. Now I know. I told you I was trying. I told you I was trying. Um, but <laughs> just as you're getting ready to leave, right? It got warmer. Um, thank you so much, and I'm and thank you for all the service that you did on your jury service. If you make sure Mr. Feldman has your little buttons, um, um, Kentucky has no money, so I can't replace those, so I have to keep them. Um, you're free to go. Thank you so much, and please have a nice, safe um, trip home. All right, thank you so much. Do you remember me? She looks so dead on familiar. <laughs> oh my god! How are you? <laughs> I'm doing okay. Living the dream. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm lucky, I love what I do. Take care. See ya, thank you so much. All right, do you want to add that charge that refusal? I'll see Oh, thank you kindly. Okay, so everybody has a seat, folks. All right, so the defendant has been found not guilty on the charges, which is great. Um, so what we're going to do, though, is we do have to deal with the refusal issue. Um, Ma'am, did you have a Kentucky license when all this mess happened? I did not. I had an Ohio license. Okay, so we didn't. I didn't think we had your driver's license, from what I could see from the record. But you understand that your driving privileges. Um, I'm assuming the Commonwealth was just to pursue the refusal? Yes, Judge. There also potentially is an issue. She testified that she lives over here on Nelson. Mm -hmm. Yet if her driver's license is still registered in Ohio, there, there may What's be... What's been suspended uh, since Your Honor, September? If I may address that issue, uh, mm -hmm. I believe the testimony was that at the time of the stop, uh, she moved to the new address on uh, September the 1st, though she only resided at that address for about three or four days. The law I says was she has 10 get days. There. I was getting so, there. Sorry. I was getting there. Okay. <laughs> I'm yeah. so used to making arguments. You don't need to make that one. Um, this one, no, but that's that was the testimony, that she had just moved there. Remember, stuff was in the car, and that's why she wasn't familiar. Okay. That's the testimony that you've got. Her problem is that she can't get a license in Kentucky because I suspended her very shortly thereafter. So, um, ma'am, the problem is, is that your ability to get a license is going to be suspended in Kentucky for a total of 120 days. You get credit for the time you've been suspended in September. Um, so you've got September, October, November, December. So that's um, 120 days probably, uh, or close to it. Um, you're probably very close to the 120, but um, you should be able to get a, your privileges back very shortly, but you have to take that up with the Department of Transportation. To be honest with you, I have no idea what Ohio is going to make you do because Kentucky suspended your privileges and notified Ohio. So your Ohio license is now suspended at this point. You know, with the border stuff, that's what happens. So it's quite possible that once you get the release from the Kentucky Department of Transportation, you can take that Ohio, they'll release a the license over there, and then you can come back here and get your Kentucky license. Are you still on Nelson? Okay. So you need to get that now. Now there's no reason not to as soon as that license is valid, right? Right. Okay. Your Honor, could, could you, um, I could probably check coordinate, but do you have the pretrial suspension order? What is the date on there? September 6th. September 6th. Mm -hmm. Thank you. No problem. So she has 120 days from September 6th. Um, and so we'll make sure that you get credit time. I'm going to make the finding of the refusal, give you credit for the time you've been pretrial suspended, and then keep on lookout for the, um, tele or the a letter from the Department of Transportation, and they should be able to help you with that, and your attorney can as well. Any questions, ma'am? All right, man. Thank you very much. Y'all free to go. Thank you, Judge. Thank you. Thank Have you a so wonderful evening. You too, sir.